Have you ever wondered how to create an online business website that actually sells? If so, watch today's video until the very end because I'm about to share with you the three keys to creating the perfect website that not only brands you as the leader in the authority, but which also helps you make sales. Hey, my name is Mish Wilson, and if this is the first video you're watching of me, over the last few years, I've done over $10 million in sales online. I've created literally dozens of websites, and some of them have done really well, and some of them, unfortunately, have done really poorly. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how you can create your own online business website that brands use the authority, creates long-term trust and brand awareness for your business, but which also makes more sales in the short term. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive right in. Welcome to the Misha Wilson Show, where we show you how to create massive success online so you can enjoy the lifestyle of your wildest dreams. All right, here we are. So the first thing I wanna go ahead and touch on is the vital step that so many people forget that actually goes ahead and happens before you ever go ahead and tactically create anything on your website. This is the most important step, and if you forget this step and miss this step, literally none of the steps that proceed will do anything for you and your business. And that's the step of spending a few minutes and getting crystal clear on exactly who you're actually marketing to. All right, so good marketing always starts with the who. When we wanna create a marketing message, which we're gonna go ahead and do on our actual website, we need to get crystal clear on who the actual message is going to go ahead and speak to so that we can go ahead and create the right message that actually goes ahead and you know touches on certain pains, pleasures, desires, and fears of that actual potential prospect and buyer that we're going ahead and targeting. So as an example, are we in the health and wellness niche? If so, are we showing people how to go ahead and build muscle or are we showing people how to go ahead and lose fat? Are we specifically showing men how to build muscle or are we specifically showing women how to lose fat or build muscle or vice versa? Are we showing a certain age demographic? Are we trying to show you know, teenagers how to use the internet to go ahead and make more money so that they can have an alternative to the traditional nine to five J-O-B and college grind that the world is so used to? All of these various questions are super, super, super high impact and we have to get crystal clear before we do anything when it comes to the tactical portion of the website on who our perfect prospect perfect customer and ideal customer is on the other end so that when they go ahead and visit our website, we can have the perfect message that goes ahead and enters the conversation already going on in their mind. Great marketing is not about telling someone what they should do. Great marketing is about entering the conversation that's already going on in the prospect's mind and then guiding them towards a solution that helps them to solve a pain, a problem that they're going ahead and facing. So the first thing to do is spend some time and get crystal clear on who you're actually marketing to because from there, once again, everything else is going to be tailored specifically for that person. Now, the second step, I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut to my computer screen here, is to very simply create your website to be 100% about them and not about you, all right? So I have a couple of different examples here. This is Mike Dillard. I have Ray Higdon's blog up here as well, and I have my blog. But one of the common mistakes that so many people make when it comes to creating their website is they really like that it's their website. And because it's their website, they feel important and they wanna write everything about themselves and they wanna talk about how cool they are and they wanna talk about you know, how essentially what they've been able to accomplish and their goals and their vision and their mission and everything's about them. But the problem with that is that you're not making it about your actual prospect. All right, so if you see a really good online marketing business website, you'll notice that the first thing it goes ahead and touches on is very specifically who it's for and how it can help 
that actual person. So you can see Mike Dillard's website here. I help entrepreneurs start and grow the business of their dreams. Very specific about who he's actually targeting, who he's looking to help, and who the website's actually for. You have big goals, inspiring dreams, and a lot of ambition, but you probably realize that building a successful business isn't as easy as you like. Do you struggle with pain, pain, pain? These are all pains that the market can actually go ahead and relate to, and so he's speaking directly to the market when they go ahead and visit the site. Now, if Mike wouldn't have gone ahead and completed step one and done his market research correctly, he could have never gone ahead and put this together. And when someone would have gone ahead and visited this site, it wouldn't have gone ahead and appealed to them like it will because he went ahead and completed step one. All right, here's another example, Ray Higdon, then I'll show you my blog very quickly. Ray Higdon helped network marketers, and as you can see, 29 sources to get leads now. The first thing he leads with is a solution to the biggest problem that network marketers face, which is how do I get leads for my network marketing business? Because he's very aware of who he's actually targeting with his actual messaging, all right? And the entire blog, even if we go up to the about me section on the blog, you'll see that the entire blog, while he's writing about himself, on this about me section, this about me page, he's really doing it through the context of how he can go ahead and help someone who's in his market. So even when he's writing about himself with an about me page, he's doing it through the context of this is who I am and the only reason why I'm telling you this is because this is why I can help you, all right? So if you're sick and tired of the rat race, lack of freedom in your life, I've been there and I know how you feel. So again, it's directly relevant to the actual person on the other end. And I'll show you my site here as the last example, but it's very much the same, all right? Are you ready to live the lifestyle that you know you deserve? I'm speaking directly to my market because I know one of their biggest desires is to live a cooler lifestyle, have more freedom, have more abundance, and at the end of the day, you know, create more freedom through an online business. And so I'm specifically going ahead and dressing them right where they are instead of going ahead and trying to create a conversation that isn't already going on inside their mind. So that's the first two steps. First, to get very crystal clear on who you're targeting, what conversation's going on in their mind. And then secondly, craft your entire site, specifically speak to them instead of going ahead and trying to create a conversation, just already enter the conversation that's going on within your prospect's minds. From there, you should be really clear on what the actual problems are that your market faces. And this brings us to step number three. Step three to create an online business website that actually makes sales is to have clear paths back to solutions that goes ahead and once again, make sales for you and your business framed around how you can go ahead and solve a pain or you know ally a fear with your actual product or service. So as an example, when you come to my website, wanna get the best traffic on the internet, 100% hands-free, click here to learn more. So this is an example of, I know a pain and a problem in my market is that they don't know how to get traffic so they can't necessarily generate leads, they can't make sales, and they wanna know how to get traffic. So once again, I'm offering them a solution to one of their problems so that they can move away from a pain and towards a pleasure with my product or service. Here's another example. Feeling overwhelmed, trying to piece everything together. Discover the simple way to launch your own highly profitable online business where 95% of everything is totally done for you. Because I've completed step one in my actual market research and I know who I'm marketing to, I know that overwhelm and confusion are rampant in the online space and I can meet them directly where they are and offer them a solution to that pain and the fear that they're feeling within their journey. Already having some success, but not sure how to take it to the next level. So again, that's for a slightly different kind of segment of the actual market that I'm targeting, but still it's speaking directly to my end target market. And all of these various paths are bringing people back to actual products where I'm asking them to go ahead and pull out their credit card 
and buy something from me, all right? So you'll notice that some websites out there, they look really pretty. They might speak specifically to the prospect. They might meet them where they are with the conversation going on in their mind, but then they never actually ask for a sale, all right? We don't wanna make that mistake. We need to make our website specifically for someone. We need to enter the conversation. We need to make the entire website about them. And then we need to actually have clear paths that bring people you know, essentially into one of our sales funnels. If you don't know what a sales funnel is, I'll give you a video at the very end of this actual video here. But we need a clear path to bring someone into our sales funnel to offer them a solution framed around how they can move away from one of their pains so that once again, they can get to their desired end result. And that is step number three. And from there, step four is to very simply create high quality content that goes ahead and attracts that perfect customer, that ideal prospect that you went ahead and identified in step number one to your website so that once again, you can actually get traffic or website visitors visiting your website so that once they visit your website, you're speaking directly to them, it's all about them, you're offering them solutions to their actual pains and desires, and once again, you can actually make sales because you're bringing people back through your sales paths. Now, the best way to go ahead and create content that I've found is once you complete step number one, spend some time and write down 10 to 20 you know, big problems or big desires that your actual market is facing, all right? And then after you go ahead and write down those 10 problems or 10 desires that your market is facing, create content around how to get towards the desire or create content around how to get away from the pain, all right? So as an example, how to turn your idea into a video, a desire of a network marketer is to use videos to brand themselves as a leader in the authority. So Ray's talking about how to turn your idea into a video how to create a fun team culture. A desire of a network marketer is to have a really big, strong, impactful, powerful team. And a critical element in that actual process is to create the right culture within your team. So Ray is specifically aware of what desires his market has, and then he's creating content to go ahead and help people move towards those actual desires. Another hack you can go ahead and do is you can spend some time, and this is kind of you know badass next level ninja stuff, you can spend some time and get really crystal clear on what all the preemptive buying you know, decision questions are, which essentially are the questions that someone's going to ask before they go ahead and make a buying decision. And then you can create content answering those questions and then offering solutions to go ahead and move people to once again, your products, your services, your offers through your sales funnels so you can make more sales and at the end of the day, make more money. But again, that's a little bit more advanced for now. If you can just get crystal clear on who your actual market is, what their pains are, what their desires are, create content around how to move away from the pain or towards the desire. And if you don't know what to go ahead and share, follow the very simple learn, do, teach methodology. Learn something, do it, and then teach it in order to go ahead and create content, share that content on social media. And just like that, in four simple steps, you'll have an online marketing business website that once again speaks directly to your perfect target market customer. Once again, is framed completely for them to solve their biggest problems, brings them through your sales funnel so that you can make more sales. And of course, gets high quality website visitors when you create high quality content to attract that person by solving their problems or helping them move towards their desires so that you can grow a highly profitable online business in record time. With that said, I hope you got a ton of value out of this video. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that comment, like, heart, and subscribe button. Be sure to go ahead and hit that bell icon notification button. And once again, if you have no clue what a sales funnel is, I'll go ahead and put a special link to a sales funnel training video right here. And then I'll also put another special link to give you a couple free gifts so that you can once again know the fastest way to get high quality traffic to your website once you have one. And then from there, follow up with the leads that your website goes ahead and generates. With that said, hope you got a ton of value. Please let me know in the comments what your biggest takeaway was. I love reading your comments. I read each and every single one and I try to reply to every single one. So let me know what your biggest comment or takeaway was in the comment section. Go ahead, check out these two videos. 
Give me a subscribe and a bell icon notification. Hit that like button and I will see you in the next video.